Hey y'all, it's your girl Emperor Cheryl of Jazzy Spirit Led Readings. Okay, so we're about to do this Wisdom Wednesday reading. Okay, so this reading will be uh, more of an intuitive flow. Um, although there are cards that have already been, you know, shuffled and selected and all that type of smooth stuff. So. We're going to get into the reading, all right? But I would like to invite my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and the Holy Spirit to come and protect us during this reading and give us clarity on the wisdom that needs to be shared at this time. Okay, so off top, off bat, spirit is really wanting you to um, know yourself. Like, remember who you are. If you have to look back on the past, like maybe you need to do a review of like what you've done and what you've been through or, you know what I'm saying? Something like that to truly understand who you are, then you need to do that. Because you may be experiencing something right now where it's kind of like you forgetting who you are and what you're about and where you come from or something like that. And so it's it's time for you to, you know what I'm saying, remember, okay? It's time for you to remember. It's time for you to understand, um, you know, and this could be dealing with, you know, maybe you acknowledging things that you have um, been through in the past in order for you to, you know what I'm saying, like understand your strength and bounce back from something. This could be um in terms of you like um like looking at your background, you know what I'm saying? Like your culture or what you believe in and um like using that to like strengthen you and and give you an understanding of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Where you come from. Like you may have to um look to like what your ancestors have did for some of y'all you might have to look into like past lives and see like you know what i'm saying just a reminder it's just giving me the energy of like you need to be reminder reminded of who you really are because you might have forgotten you know what i'm saying or you may be operating in a space where you're not remembering you know what i'm saying who you are and what you have going on, okay? Um, there's also a need for you to um, get outside more and get into nature if you feel like you have been um, inside or or that you are inside often. Um, don't forget the effect that being outside in nature has on you and has on your body and has um, on your ability to just, I'm getting to uh, level out. Um, your ability to become centered, to become balanced, um, get outside, walk around outside, breathe in the fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Like take it all in, um, you know, pick up trash, recycle, you know what I'm saying? Like if you want to, if you feel like you need to have a purpose or a reason to get out there, make something up, but get outside. Okay. Don't get, um, stuck inside the house or inside buildings all day. Okay. And just, Ask for help. If you need something, ask for help. Whether this is you asking for help for those um, from individuals surrounding you or you just saying a prayer and asking for divine guidance and divine assistance to send help in some way, in some form, Ask your spirit guides, ask God, ask the creator, ask the divine, ask your angels, like ask for assistance. Don't feel like you are um, operating alone. You know what I'm saying? Never feel like you are operating alone. Feel like you are, um, understand that there's always help surrounding you. If only you will ask, you know what I'm saying? Like give thanks and ask. Another thing that you, um, that spirit would like for you to know at this time is to, um, make sure you're taking care of your body, whether you are, um, being mindful of what you are eating, what you are putting into your body, 
uh, whether you are, um, you know, exercising, trying to get active, um, whether there's a need for you to meditate, whether you want to go for a massage or whatever the case is, spirit wants you to take care of your vessel at this time. Do not neglect your vessel. So take care of your body. Um, make sure you are doing the things that, um, you know, actually, you know what I'm saying? Treat your body well and put you in a position, um, that makes you feel good. Okay. So if you feel like you have been, um, you know, feeling sluggish, take note of, you know, what you have been doing, what, what type of habits, um, you have been involved in and then, you know, try to, um, recoup and, you know what I'm saying? Recoup, retreat, redo something. You know what I'm saying? Reevaluate is what I'm getting to tell you, okay? Um, I also want you to understand, because this is coming from me as well, is that you are in a position of leadership in some form. Whether it's, even if it's not by title, you are in a position of leadership as in others are watching you. Others are looking at you to see like what is going on. How will this person act in this situation? You know what I'm saying? Like how when 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 circumstances um, come towards you, circumstances approach, like others are looking to see like what you're doing how you are going to act so in this time be mindful of like the things that you do be mindful of the actions that you take be mindful um of your position as a leader and again i want to say this is whether even if you feel like this is not by title you are a leader others are watching you okay understand that. So be confident in it. Okay. Be in a position of, you know, wanting to be positive, wanting to, um, be inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Like show off your brilliance, walk in your purpose, you know, be authentic, do those things. Okay. Um, feel empowered. If you feel like you're a visionary, then, you know what I'm saying? Act on your vision, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Put it out there because, Others are watching. I can promise you that others are watching. So powerfully lead. You know what I'm saying? Lead in a position of power. Do it as if you know others are looking. Do it in a in a sense to where you are courageous. Understand how sovereign you are. Understand how respected you are. Okay, because there are others surrounding you that are watching you that truly respect you, even if they don't say it, even if they don't say it, others around you respect you. So you you have to understand that it's for, that's for you to know. Okay, this is what spirit is having me tell you at this time. Okay, this is for you to know you are respected. Okay, uh, eyes are on you. You know what I'm saying? People are watching you. People are watching how you uh, react to particular situations, how you walk, how you walk in a room, how you present yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like how you inspire others. You know what I'm saying? People are admiring your power. So understand that. I feel like this is coming through because spirit is wanting you to truly understand that, to truly understand like the position that um you are in at this time and I keep I keep wanting to say regardless of title because I don't I don't want you to think that this is like a uh a work thing. This is not like a work thing. I mean this can be this could be you know what I'm saying in terms of work most definitely but this is just like period in life, like your character, how you walk around, the energy you exude. You are a leader and other people are watching. So understand that. OK, um, there may be um, the need for you to I'm getting meditate more. Um, to get silent more, to get to yourself, to sit in order to like really, um, I'm getting more so really process 
the things that are coming into you uh, really get level. OK, really consider um, all that you have going on or all that you plan to do or, you know, what I'm saying all that you uh, I, I'm really um, just thinking that you feel inspired to do. So it, it, I'm getting more so there's a need to like uh, for you to find a balance. So it's like meditating for you to find a balance, meditating for you to, um, you know, balance out your energy. OK, because there are things that are um, being resolved in your life or about to be resolved in your life um, at this time. And, and is is more so all on how you are able to um, level things out yourself. It's like you, it, it, it spirit wants me to tell you more so like you have the ability, <laughs> like the power is within you. The power is within you. All you have to do is look towards things that you have done in the past. Understand your strength. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Get out. Walk around. You know what I'm saying? Go exercise. Go eat right. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Get balanced. It's more so a mindset where I'm getting to tell you is to kind of like use your tools. Use the tools that have um, worked for you. So maybe if, if this, these are like self-care tools, um, things that have worked for you in the past in terms of um, centering yourself, in terms of balancing out your energy, in terms of getting focused, in terms of getting on the right track, you know what I'm saying? In terms of making sure you are feeling good, then um, do that. You know what I'm saying? Look to those things. Um, there may be things coming up that are uh, wanting to test you, wanting to um, test maybe the uh, decisions that you are making, the path that you are trekking, <laughs> you know, the, um, you know, wherever, whatever road you're desiring to go down, um, understand that you will be tested. So is, is the, the, I guess more so the challenge or the wisdom here is for you to understand that. Understand that tests are going to come. So continue to push through. Continue to stand in your powerful energy. Continue to understand your ability to um, create resolution in situations. Okay? To seek assistance or ask for help. Uh, when needed, say your prayers, you know what I'm saying? Honor your connection with the divine is really what you need to um, remember at this time, okay? Because at the end of the day, things will balance out. At the end of the day, justice will be served. At the end of the day, a win-win outcome is forecast. So understand that you're a winner. You're going to win. Just focus on balance. You know what I'm saying? Focus on balancing yourself. Focus on meditating. Focus on honoring your body. Focus on your connection to the divine. Focus on remembering your strength, remembering your resilience, remembering who you are, remembering where you come from, remembering the powerful energy that you exude. Remember your natural leadership qualities and abilities. That's who you are. And that's what you need to be reminded of. Okay. So these are the messages for you on this Wisdom Wednesday. Y'all take care and have a jazzy day.